Okay, well apparently some people out there have trouble covering a ball cake with gold fondant. So today I'm going to do a ball cake that's going to be a golf ball on a tee. So hopefully we can um, help you out here and help you figure out how to do this. So first I'm starting with a pound cake, something that's super firm. Uh, so this is pound cake. I've had it actually in the freezer too because I like it super firm when I cover it. Uh, this is just the ball pan, this is like the sports ball pan, so I bake two of these. Um, just level the top off before you take it out of the pan and then you've got your two pieces there. Again, it's a pound cake, very firm. Uh, the next thing I want, um, I need two cardboards here. One of these cardboards, this is going to sit on top of the golf tee, which you'll see in a few minutes, but I want the cake to actually sit on that. And then the other thing is going to be, this is a board, just a support board for in here so that not all this weight when, when this actually comes to room temperature doesn't just kind of sink down uh, onto this cake here. So as you can see, this board's actually gonna be a little big. So I just wanna take this and I'm just gonna trim it. So this was a six inch board. These cakes are about six inches, but usually after you bake them, they're a little bit less. So just kind of make it like this, like so, and like that. Okay, so that will go in the middle here, and <clears throat> to support this, doesn't really matter what I want to be the top, what I'm gonna do is put some dowels in here, and I'll put one here, and then just mark it with my thumb, the top of it, and then I will take the PVC pipe cutters and just cut, and I just need four dowels that are about that height. Okay, so there's two. Hold on to both pieces so it doesn't fly across the room. And two more. Okay, so I have those. Don't need these. I can get rid of those pieces. Get that out of the way. And I will go ahead and insert these four. It's pretty close to the middle because I don't want them coming out the side here, right? And I'm just going to take a little bit of buttercream, place it over the top here. And then place the board right on top. Okay, a little bit more buttercream there. This is going to sit on top of that. Put a little more. Like so. Just like that. Now, I can go ahead and place it on here if I want. Like I said, this is gonna be the T. Um, I will need to cut this down a little bit more, so there's not really gonna be a lot of cardboard there. Just enough to protect it from the wood that the T is on. Okay, something like that's probably gonna be good. Get rid of that. Okay, and then this is our setup here before we go to ice that. This is just a wood board. Uh, mine is just a rectangle, so it's about, it's just a piece that I had. So it's 13 by um, about 11. Like I said, it was just already cut in the size. You could do a round cake, you could do a bigger, or a round cake, a round board, or you can do a lar larger oblong board. And if you need more cake, you can actually place a cake over the top of this and then make a longer um, golf tee and then have the, you know, the, the ball cake up here and then have a sheet cake down here or something for uh, the greenery. So you want the board to be at least a half inch thick so that you can actually put some screws in it. This green thing right here, this is in the sprinkler department and this is actually a sprinkler head. Uh, it usually has a little center piece in here that's gold. You just take that out and then just screw two screws in here through the board and then that's set. Then the next thing you need is a sprinkler riser. So same department. They come in different heights. This one right here is a six inch riser. So get a six inch riser. If you can only find one that's higher, you can actually cut it down with the PVC pipe cutter. So this actually will screw in and you wanna make sure you screw it in pretty darn tight.